I'd like to explain to you how I performed revascularization on upper right incisor. The patient is a 10 year old boy. And PCT shows a large lesion on the tooth. First of all, I'm going to remove the restoration composite. I'm using a high speed diamond bar to remove composite. I didn't anesthetize the patient, so if the patient tells me it hurts, then I can stop and I can anesthetize the patient. I'm using a carry detector die, so I can know where the cavity is. So especially I'm removing the dentin with the red ink. Now I can see inside the tooth, there is no breathing, so I am checking the vitality of the tooth, it is completely necrotic, no breathing, and the patient says there is no pain, so this means the tooth is dead. So I'm removing the pulp tissues. As you can see, there is no breathing from the root canal. He said, uh, I don't feel any pain. So that's good. So now, I'm going to remove the tooth canal. I'm going to remove the tooth canal. And I want to induce breathing after this. Okay. So I'm irrigating the canal with sodium hypochlorite. I'm sorry, EDTA this time. Then I want to do the reading. Next the end of finisher. So now it's reading. Okay. 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 Then the breathing is coming up to the CE junction. Now the blood clot has formed. Then I'm placing cola coat over the blood clot. So I'm pushing it a little bit down to the blood clot. Then I'm going to place MTA. Oh, yeah, yeah. すごいいい子だよ
I always carry MTA with a plug into the canal. Then I need to condense MTA with a dry cotton pad. And I need to remove moisture from MTA with a dry cotton pad. Then I want to add more MTA. Have at least one millimeter thickness of MTA over the blood clot. Again, here comes the dry cotton pellet to remove moisture and condense MTA. Now I can see enough MTA over the blood clot. I'm removing excess MTA. dry it. Then I'm placing Teraco over the MTA. So I can do this in one visit. This is a very strong curing right. So it takes only nine seconds. Then I'm, I'm preparing the cavity for composite. I'm using a high-speed diamond, diamond power plug. This is a 37% phosphoric acid. I'm putting it on enamel. And I'm releasing the cavity with water. Dry the, dry the cavity. This is prime and bond universal. This is the bonding system for composite restoration. I dry the cavity and like cure it. Then 
then I'm using SDR. Then again, right QA with a strong chewing height. And this is a Gracefield Zero Pro from DC. I'm polishing the surface of the material and, and I'm taking the occlusion and I'm reducing the occlusion with a di diamond blur and I took a radiograph it looks good this is a three-month post-op radiograph showing dentin bridge. Thank you for watching this.